Good morning, folks. Hope everyone's doing well. Had a great weekend and a good Labor Day as we had here in Ireland uh, for US holidays. So uh, quite a bit's been happening yesterday. OPEC coming out with 100,000 barrels a day cut, wiping out what they had given to Joe Biden um, earlier in start of August. Uh, so the US administration not going to be happy with that. Uh, we've also got an emergency meeting coming from uh, European leaders on uh, energy policy. And uh, but overall, you know, quite uh, a quiet week. Ahoy. So um, let's get over to these charts and have a little look, see at uh, what is going on. So, um, you know, we've not really seen too much of a move in equities. Uh, really, Friday, let's kind of you know, say goodbye to these US or sorry, European markets, right? And, and look into Friday, really. We're going to look at the spoos. We're going to look at oil. Uh, we're going to look at the euro here. So, you know, looking at the spoos, you can see that, uh, you know, nice bids here. NFP, half one, pulled right back onto that 39.74's quarter and remained bid. And as we were kind of sitting, you know, in, in this area here, you know, trying to go bid back up over after leaving such a big hammer candle here the reversal was really in the post once you close this bar and we were now trading on this bar you know this sort of reversal really was in the post i did flag this at the time for the guys it was just like very cautious over that sort of a hammer uh, bar on the candles uh, you're looking at 60 minutes here and of course rewind back down into uh, into what was uh, a gap area we'll make that uh, gray now and uh, well we'll actually leave it as green because as we can see from trade it is tremendously supportive here we have other reasons why we'd be uh, looking for longs in and around this area uh, mainly sort of uh, some higher time frame stuff going on and uh, but you know should we break down we have what's what we call a morning trend developing here so should we break down in this area i think you're you could be looking at like selling 32 39.24s 39.15s for further downside so you know to, to look at that in a bigger scale uh here's what we have you know now i don't like the shorts here i don't like the shorts because we're in this sideways compression right we're sideways compression we'd actually come in to start this from moving to the upside right if i change out to say a weekly this will be a lot clearer right so just tidy up this chart, get some of this crud off of here. Uh, but essentially, you see the sideways compression. So we actually moved up and then started this sideways compression. I like the longs here, as long as we hold the 39.15s high, which is the range, and it's the high here of the week of uh, 16th of February 2021. Right? If we come back in this range, you know, we're easily going to print 38.09 quarters uh, to the downside and then continue further on down um to you know commit to that bear trend again right so um i i like the longs i like the longs in this market now i like the longs i think last wednesday and that got absolutely hammered down as well uh so you know look make of it what you will we have some really good levels to be working off here but i suspect 39.15s in the low of the week so far we should bid back up into further sideways compression all right so that's that's it on the spoos. Let's put this back to a daily. Uh, you know, in targets for the upside, I think, look, 39.74s and uh, 40.60s on the top. All right, that's, that's it on the spoos. Uh, looking at oil, yeah, 1,000, sorry, 100,000 barrels a day cut is a nice uh, flash of red towards the bears. Uh, we are again accumulating at this 2009 low, 85.77s. Uh, I think, you know, we've just seen a lot of accumulation here. And to me, I think this could be the accumulation for the push to 150s. Now, should we start to press down to like 83.08, for example, or below 83.08s in the bottom of this area, right? I think all that accumulation that we're going to have had here and here and even further back here, uh, there's oil into VWAP now, guys um you're going to see that unwound very quickly and uh, we could be having a slip on a trip back down to uh you know these probably uh like october 21 levels of 71 bucks wti um but i don't i don't think that's 
you know, going to happen. OPEC have just brought in this fresh uh, cut. So uh, I don't see technically why that would happen unless Russia come out with uh, like a, an increase in production. Or we get the uh, Iranian deal done and OPEC have effectively shot their, their bullets um, at 100,000 barrel cut and they might not do any more of a cut. All right. So is this a sign that the Iranian deal is going to be done, that they've brought in the 100,000 barrels? I don't know. But uh, they have, OPEC have said that they are, they are willing to meet at any time over anything that they need to. So should the Iranian deal get done, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that they come out and they, they do probably another 100,000 barrels a day uh, on the cut. But either which way, we've got some nice levels to be working off here. Uh, 85.77s for longs on the low. And uh, targets up 20 EMA, 91s, and 9303s uh, on the upside. So that's uh, oil equities. Trying to find uh, a bid here this morning. Um, well, cable, actually, let me talk about cable. So cable has enjoyed the exiting of uh, Donald Trump. Sorry, did I say Donald Trump? I meant uh, Boris Johnson there. Uh, so um we could pull back here to this sort of gap, prior gap, one spot, 15.08, and uh, find some buyers. You're really looking at 14.74s down the bottom here is, if we go back to the, uh, to the uh, uh, let's see, the 2020 lows, right? Euro back at these levels as well. 2020 lows is the 14.74s looking for the longs back up. Oil giving it up here on VWAP as well, boys. Uh, all right, so that's it, really. It's quite a day on the docket. It's actually overall a quiet week. Ahoy. So um, maybe, you know, if you made some money last week, maybe keep it in your pocket and uh, look to greener pastures of uh, next week as we, you know, should be picking up these markets, the volatility uh, now that we have past Labor Day holidays. All right. So, all right. Have a good one. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.